that shows who he really is. All right, guys, my name is Jonathan O'Neill Watson, and uh, I'm from Reading. Reading born, Reading based. This is my home. Uh, this is where it happens for me. Um, and basically, I'm, I'm an artist, and I've got a very passion for art, and that's the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm very interested in uh, getting people to uh, become more interested in art. I could see something, I could take a picture of it, go home, perhaps just uh, play around with the image and then I'll paint what that image gives to me. Or it could be uh, a dream that I had which I don't remember anything about the next day, but I do remember images that were in the dream. So I go and I start painting, that's another way, that's another kind of inspiration influence there. Um, or I might just get inspired by you know, something someone says to me. It could be just a phrase or, or whatever it is, and it just triggers a thought process which I'm like, okay, I could work with that and I can, I can build on that. Or I could just start painting and I do not know what I'm gonna end up with and I just end up with what you might see, the abstract side of things. Andy Boyle and I'm the new general manager of the Novotel Reading and tonight we organize a special event with our regular guests and at the same time enable uh, Jonathan to exhibit his art in our hotel. I already have some very positive feedback about his picture and I have to say my favorite is the daydream. With colors I'm, I'm very influenced um, by vivid, col vivid colors and having a, a, a real good contrast where you might just have black and white but you know, it works because it's just simple black and white, but it brings off a good, a good image. When it comes to art, um, sometimes it's not, it's not good to, to be too perfect with it. And I find that the more something might be a little bit imperfect, the more appealing it might become to people. It's, it's more or less to do with, um, as human beings, we go through so many different uh, emotions. The hearts aren't perfect, you know, you can, you can see it's kind of hearts, but at the same time it's not, it's not meant to be perfect. That's where the emotion comes into everything in life. You know, should I, shouldn't I, and all that kind of stuff. Follow your head or your heart. But I believe that our hearts contain so much about us. John um, suffers from uh, sickle cell uh, disorder, but he's such an inspiration because he never um, lets anything keep him down. Uh, if anything, um, from the uh, disorder, he's found inner strength within himself. Um, I've had sickle cell anemia uh, for the last 47 years, uh, so it's something that I've lived with uh, all my life. It's a, it's a blood disorder and it does have uh, secondary um, effects uh, to the health. So you can then develop arthritis, you can develop necrosis of the hips, you can develop all sorts of things, gout, you know, whatever, ulcers and, and stuff like that. Um, and so I've had it all my life and I've, I've lived with it all my life. Um, but one thing I must say is that I'm not going to let it stop me doing what I want to do. With, with stuff like this, I'm amazed. And like, it's good for my kids to come down and see what he's doing, which has inspired my son Tyrese to get into that sort of thing. With his sickle cell, it gives him, my, ty my little Tyrese, he's got um, cerebral palsy. And it's sort of like, he's got someone to look up to, as it were. And like, what can I tell you about JW? He's like my man. And I love him more than anything else. And I'm so happy for him tonight. I just wanted to say a big thank you really for everybody that's uh, come down and, and supported me uh, with this. It's something that I'm very passionate about. Not a lot of people knew that this is something that I do, you know, but sometimes you don't know much about a person until you really get to know about them and, and figure out, oh, they, they, they did that or they did this. I don't paint every single day because of my, my, my health and stuff like that. I, don't do, I can't do it, I can't manage it. But um, when I do paint, I make sure I try to put my best into it so that whoever comes across that piece of uh, art, that it will inspire them in some way. 
you know, so that's how it works for me. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs>